Hi. In this tutorial, we are going to create an abstract bird design using Adobe Illustrator. To get started, create a new document with a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels, then click Create. First, you need to open the necessary panels, such as the Brushes panel, Gradient panel, and Properties panel. Then go to Window, Toolbar, and activate the Advanced option. Next, prepare your color palette. You can also use the same colors as in this example. Then lock the color palette layer. Activate the Line Segment tool. Create a horizontal line with a length of 960 pixels. Then click OK. Align the line to the left. Activate the Selection tool, and, while holding Alt on Windows or Option on Mac, drag to duplicate the line. Align the duplicate to the right. Select both lines and set the stroke size to 100 points. Activate the Direct Selection tool, select the endpoints of the lines, and connect them by clicking the appropriate icon. This action will create an anchor at the connection point. Activate the Width tool. Then shrink the stroke size at the anchor point. Open the Variable Width Profile dropdown and click the designated icon to add the line as a new profile. You can now delete the original line. Activate the Line Segment tool again. Create a line that is 450 pixels long at a 90 degree angle and align it to the center. Then, go to Effect. Distort and Transform. Transform. Set the alignment preset to middle bottom. Set the angle to 11.25 degrees. Create 31 copies. And click OK. With the line still selected, go to Object. Expand Appearance. Align them to the center. Then ungroup them. Select the right half and split them. Duplicate the two vertical lines by selecting them and pressing Alt-Shift on Windows or Option Shift on Mac, then drag them to merge with the right group of lines. Select All. Open the Brushes panel. Click the small three-line icon at the corner of the panel. Open Brush Library. Artistic. Select Artistic Batcher Scroll Pen. Choose Scroll Pen 1. Go to the three-line icon again and select Options of Selected Object. In the dialog box that opens, check Flip Along and Confirm. Select the right half shape group, go to the three line icon again, options of selected object, now check flip across and click OK to confirm. You might also want to duplicate any line using the transform effect, as shown in this example. Next, select all the lines. Open the variable width profile dropdown and select the profile you created earlier. Set the stroke weight to 4 points. Then go to Object, Expand Appearance. Adjust the group sizes accordingly so that the bird design parts fit the artboard. Now select the first group, activate the Shape Builder tool, and remove excessive lines by Alt dragging on Windows or Option dragging on Mac over them. Activate the Selection tool, select the second group, activate the Shape Builder tool again, and remove excessive lines using the same method. Now select the left side lines and group them. Do the same for the right side lines. Move all elements off the artboard. Duplicate the left group by Alt-dragging on Windows or Option-dragging on Mac. Hide the original. Go to the Gradient panel, select a gradient color preset, and edit the gradient colors as shown in this example. Then, select the shape group and apply the gradient. 
Don't forget to save your gradient as a new preset. If you want to flip the gradient, select the shape group and click the designated icon. Next, go to the properties panel and click the icon to flip the shapes vertically. Activate the twirl tool. Resize it by alt dragging on Windows or option dragging on Mac. Then double click the twirl tool icon to open its options dialog box. Adjust the twirl rate and intensity if needed. Then start twirling the shapes. If you make a mistake, press Ctrl Z on Windows or Command Z on Mac to undo. To twirl in the opposite direction, set the twirl rate to a negative value. Then, use the warp tool to shape the wing of the abstract bird design. To create the other wing, right-click the shape group, go to Transform, Reflect, and set it to vertical at 90 degrees. Now, move the black shapes group onto the artboard. Then move the completed wings off the artboard. Duplicate the shapes. Apply the gradient. and use the twirl and warp tools to form the bird's body. Customize the shapes until you achieve the desired look. Finally, tweak the duplicate shapes to form the bird's tail feathers using the same techniques. And there you have it. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.